Tory MPs targeted by an anti-Brexit campaign filmed discussing opportunities with a fake South Korean firm. No rules being broken, but awkward nonetheless. So we were, we were wondering, do you have a daily rate at the moment? No, I do. I do, yes. It's 10,000 sterling. Matt Hancock's team said this covert recording was illegal and he acted entirely properly. This senior Tory was also targeted. I was thinking something like £60,000. Sixty thousand. Oh. As an annual price. Okay. That's if you certainly. Think that's far too cheap. Let me know. So Graham Brady said, as he is standing down as an MP next year, he was exploring opportunities. This minister saying no rules were broken, but that MPs should work for voters. All of us will uh, reflect on this and think the the uh, first duty of a member of parliament is towards their constituents, and ultimately. Uh, the really important thing is, is an MP delivering for their constituents? Is a Member of Parliament doing everything they can to put public service first? This secretly filmed footage is clearly embarrassing for those involved, but it doesn't prove any wrongdoing because MPs only have to make declarations when money is received or when jobs are agreed. That said, the issue of outside earnings has come into close focus recently, with some calling for a tightening of the rules around second jobs. Sky's Westminster account tool shows that since the end of 2019, Matt Hancock has declared 33 financial interests, that's donations, earnings and gifts, worth over half a million pounds. His highest payment was £320,000 for his I'm a Celebrity appearance, followed by 48000 for a serialisation of his memoir, making him the MP with the seventh highest amount of outside earnings. Sir so Graham Brady has 137 financial interests, totalling just over £210,000. His highest payment was £64,000 from a publishing group, followed by £31,000 for marketing and comms advice, putting him in 25th place. I think uh, no one can watch that video and see these reports without feeling uh, sickened, quite honestly, uh, at them par parading themselves around uh, trying to, to get extra paid political consultancy, because that's what that is. Uh, and that's why we've been calling for an end to uh, second jobs for, for MPs, an end to these paid uh, political consultancy uh, roles. The influence of private cash in this place is well documented, so while these revelations won't surprise some, for many, they will emphasise the need for reform. Rob Powell, Sky News in Westminster.